Here are the three biggest dating mistakes that I see wealthy men and many other men, all kinds of men, make when it comes to dating, all right? Number one, you guys are targeting women that you should not be targeting because especially, especially when it comes to older guys, you guys have had your families, you tell me you don't want more kids, yet you're trolling for the younger ladies who definitely still wanna have kids. So you're gonna invest time and effort and guess what? A lot of times you guys get your heart involved and then all of a sudden, you're a few years down the road and she's gonna give you that ultimatum. You give me kids or I'm leaving. And a lot of times this is how some of you older dudes ended up having kids in your late 50s and into your early 60s. Yep, yeah, it happens. Okay, let's get on to number two. Number two, you want a woman who has a great career and is self-sustaining, yet you also want her to be completely available to get together with you whenever you snap your fingers and want to make it happen, all right? And you're forgetting that she has a life. Number three, at the other end of the spectrum, you don't want a woman who has a career. You don't care if she has any money. You'll take care of her, you say. But then when you start taking care of her and she gets used to that lifestyle and it ultimately ends because it usually does when it's set up in that way, you come around and you say, ah, oh, she's just a gold digger. When you are the one that essentially knew what you were getting into in the first place, okay? If you're finding a women and they don't have money and they are willing to be supported by you, you can't turn around and then call them a gold digger because all of these things, it takes two to tango, all right? So you gotta be smarter, you gotta pick appropriate partners. And one of my pet peeves is when I've seen rich men who find women, I'm giving you a bonus here, rich men who find women who are completely, the women are maybe not rich, maybe not super successful, but they're doing okay in life. They're sustaining, they're not looking for a rich guy. And the rich guy comes along and he's like the crack salesman, I like to say, and he says, little girl, you want some crack? Little girl, you want some crack? Come on, you go, no, no, really don't, I'm good, really don't, I'm good. No, no, come on, come on, you want the crack? You want the crack? And then sure enough, he turns her into a, a crack whore and then he's mad because he's dating a crack whore when it was his fault for shoving it in her face. Okay, I hope it helps.